Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we are discussing aircraft navigation systems. This is a project at Fiat University presented by Fred Ignacio, Alisa Villamarin, Emil Anda, and Argel Uy. The advancement in radio technology led the birth of radio navigation. Automatic direction finder used location of radio stations to provide aviators with information about their position. It uses low and medium frequency. Very high frequency omnidirectional range determines the direction of an aircraft with respect to the location of the radar. It uses very high frequency and is still considered to be the basis of current network of airways in navigational charts. Distance measuring equipment used secondary radar principles. It measures the distance of the aircraft from the radar. It also enables communication between ground and the aircraft. Very high frequency omnidirectional range is Very high frequency omnidirectional range is used in conjunction with distance measuring equipment to provide accurate navigation fixes. Automatic Direction Finder Very high frequency omnidirectional range and distance measuring equipment are only used for en route navigation. Instrument Landing System is used for precision approaches and landings. Microwave Landing System has a wider coverage than Instrument Landing System. It also has excellent performance in all weather and is a wide selection of channels to avoid interference. Hyperbolic navigation allows long-range coverage and are often placed along coastlines. Unlike the previously discussed system, the reckoning systems do not require external inputs or data. This allows long-distance navigation over oceans and undeveloped areas. Doppler navigation allows for ground speed to be measured with the use of the fundamental scientific method principle called Doppler shift. Inertial navigation system is an autonomous dead reckoning device system that computes navigation data such as the present position, distance to waypoint, heading, and wind speed. Satellite navigation uses satellites rather than ground-based stations. An example of satellite navigation is Global Positioning System, or what we know as GPS. It determines the position of an aircraft by triangulating the distances from the number of satellites. Radar technology is also used in air navigation. Its role is to identify the different weather conditions and to identify ground features through terrain mapping. Air traffic control is used to control traffic around airports. It also manages the flow of traffic and maintains safe separation of aircraft. It is based on second surveillance radar, similar to DME. Traffic Alert and Collision Avoidance System, or what we call TCAS, is a system integrated into aircrafts. It allows direct communication between aircrafts and provide warnings when there is a potential collision. I hope you learned a lot from this video. Thank you for watching! Like, share, and subscribe.